the HT12E and HT12D are a pair of complementary metal oxide semiconductor ICs designed for use in wireless communication systems. The HT12E is the transmitter responsible for encoding the data you want to send. It takes two types of inputs, address bits. The address bits are used to ensure that the data is transmitted to the correct receiver in systems where multiple receivers are present. Typically, eight address bits are used, allowing for 256 unique addresses. Data bits. These represent the actual information you want to transmit. Usually, four data bits are available, which can encode 16 different values. An external resistor is connected to the OSC1 and OSC2 pins to set the oscillator frequency, which determines the rate at which data is transmitted. The transmission is enabled by setting the TE pin to low. When TE is high, the transmission is disabled, and the output remains high impedance, meaning it does not interfere with other signals. Once TE is activated, the HT12E encodes the address and data bits into a serial format. This includes synchronization bits, address bits, data bits, and a stop bit to ensure proper synchronization with the decoder. The encoded serial data is then output from the D out pin. The HT12D is the receiver responsible for decoding the received signal. The HT12D receives the serial data through its DIN pin. This data is expected to be in the format generated by the HT12E. Like the HT12E, the HT12D uses an external resistor connected to its OSC1 and OSC2 pins to set the oscillator frequency. Upon receiving the serial data, the HT12D first checks the synchronization bits and then compares the received address, bits with its own address pins. If the addresses match, the decoder proceeds to decode the data bits. Otherwise, it ignores the data. Once the address is validated, the HT12D decodes the serial data back into the original four data bits and presents them on its output pins. The VT pin goes high to indicate a valid transmission has been received and decoded. This can be used to trigger further actions in the receiver circuit. This is a simple demonstration of how this works. This is the data transmitter line. Both ICs are set to the same address. Let's see what happens if we change the address. You can observe that the receiver does not respond to the transmitter signals. Also, let's explore this configuration. I added two HT12D decoder ICs to the receiver side, using the same signal line for both ICs. You can see the LEDs connected to IC1 light up because its address matches that of the HT12E encoder. If we match the address of IC2, the LEDs connected to that IC will light up as well. Finally, let's see what happens if I change the address of the HT12E encoder so that it doesn't match with IC1 or IC2. You can see that none of the LEDs work. This demonstrates the working principle of this system. I believe you now have a good understanding of it. Instead of this wire, we use RF modules in wireless transmission.